Hello and welcome to the Training Fundamentals, talking you through your program. I'm Carl, founder of Truman Health, and I'm here to talk you through your program. So the four key fundamentals for any successful program, um, regardless of the goal, I personally believe, and you'll find as the journey goes ahead, is progressive overload over time. Now this can come in many forms, in sets, reps, or load. Um, recording them is quite important because if you notice that there's a drop in load, that's your body may be telling you something that it's not working, maybe it's not the right exercise, and it's really helpful for us as your coach. All movements should be controlled through full range of movement. So that's number two, work through full range, also known as ROM, R-O-M. Number three would be control of that range of movement, also known as time and attention, or aka the tempo which you'll see in your program, like 4010. You might even just see control, so that's where you dictate the speed. You'll find a lot of the time the concentric portion, um, when you're lifting the weight, normally is faster than the eccentric, the down phase. Um, we naturally are stronger in the eccentric phase, but that phase is where we're strengthening ligaments and tendons. You'll find that more, you'll learn more about that one on one with the coach. And then, obviously, I believe no pain. Now, you might feel a burn, but no pain, no sharp shooting discomfort. If it does occur, well, I'm going to take you through that and why that might happen. So, what you'll notice is in your program, there is a note section. This runs you through all the key elements of what to look out for and just some friendly tips. And if I come all the way back up here, this is really where I'm here to talk to you about. So what we can see is we've got working sets, an exercise, the reps, the tempo, and the rest. So you'll go perform your exercise in the gym, done your warm-up, of course, ready to go. And you may perform, say, 10 kilos, but you do 15 reps. So you've got plenty left in the tank. Well, this would be... I would call a warm-up set. We're looking at 12 kilos where you can probably keep two to three reps left in the tank, maybe one to two, but two to three at least. So if you hit 15 and you feel like, man, I can't do any more, well then yeah, two to three, that would be 12, which is good there, but make sure you stop at 12. If you ask yourself and you say, I probably could do more, then for your first set, do a few more and see how you go. And then let's say you then went to uh, 13 kilos and you did 12 reps, and you found that you could probably do one more, that would be your first working set. Then you would go for 10 reps, so let's say 15 kilos, and if you got nine, that's okay, you're not pushing to failure, remember, you're not pushing to failure or causing pain in your body, so then that would be an indication that maybe you should stay there to do the 8 8. Normally we'll see temp, uh, rep ranges like 8 to 10, which is a guide, but what you should be seeing is when in your program, like here, it should be outlined as such where the loads are recorded and you can track from week to week. Now we can see there's a few gaps here, so we're not going to be able to help you as best as we can. But if you notice 7.5 kilos, 6, 8, 6, and then we saw 7.5, 8, and then 10 kilos, 5, 5, well, we can see that there's a progression in load. Now, as a coach, the rep range is meant to be 8 to 12. We can see that maybe we're just overreaching a little too early. So the recommendation for this person would be to focus on um, pushing more repetitions rather than increasing load. Now, um, here you can see, so Michaela's, this is Michaela's program, she, she's done three kilos, it's six to eight reps, she had three kilos again, and she's made a mo note to get Carl to check height and angle at the top. So this is really good because then when it comes to our session, we can actually review this and go, hey, let's quickly review this exercise first before moving forward. Now some exercises might be just body weight focused, so 20 reps, Again, record all the reps because you might even notice this 20 18 17 that indicates that you've been working close to failure but your body isn't able to achieve 20 that's great because next time we should see a level of progression remember progressive overload is one of the fundamentals here when working now that can be in a form of reps so then if we saw you do 20 20 next time well that would indicate to us a level of progression in that movement which is great now, I know what you're thinking, but Carl, what happens when we see the weights drop, like I can see here? Great question. So, if you notice in the first week you're experiencing pain or discomfort with the movement in your first program, this is an indication that the exercise itself doesn't quite work for your body. For whatever reason, that's why we do the structure balance test to minimize that. But if we notice that there's a drop in load or discomfort in your body, 
the second or third week, that could be because maybe what we've done is we've increased the sets. So four, 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 four. So if we did that and we see the drop in performance, that's an indication that your body might not be able to handle it. So here, if we scroll all the way down, that's a total of 18 sets. You can see here. Now, if we go four across all of them, that's a way to increase progressive overload without having to increase load. That's now 24 sets. That's an increase of six sets, and that's an increase in volume on your body. Now, if your body isn't ready for that, then we could see a drop in the load lifted or in the rep count. Now here it was more of a technical cue. We um, In the session what happened, we noticed that the traps were starting to elevate and that could be due to maybe working at the desk longer, stress of the day. And so we needed to take that in consideration. So we focused more on technique for that week, focusing on engaging the lats more to help then improve the posture. And so we can see there hasn't been a drop in performance in these areas, but we did see uh, 7.5 and 2.5. And now for uneven lifting is that that's actually a progression from 10 because it was a 10 kilo bar and then it was seven and a half on one side two and a half on the other which is actually an increase to a total of 20 kilos so we can see there's a big jump here but you'll notice drop in performance here so that's exercise specific but an improvement elsewhere because by working on the correctives and improved posture and move forward so that's recording of the videos and training programs remember the key things to look for when working in your program is to focus on progressive overload that can come in sets reps or load is dependent person dependent if it is load look to increase by the smallest increments which is typically 1.25 kilos each side or with the dumbbells two kilos then working through full range of movement as always, you should be able to control it, pause at any point in time. So if you're ever wondering, is the load too heavy? You should go through the movement, and if you can't pause at any point of it, it probably is an indication that you should drop the load back and focus more on the sets or reps as an increase for you. And lastly, there should never be pain in the movement. If there is, good thing to know is that we, as your coaches, understand why or how it could be occurring. So if you have any questions, always reach out and always here to help. And enjoy.